Hi, my name is Barry Crampton. Today I'm going to show you around our Land Rover Discovery Sport, then I'll take you for riding it. But first I'll tell you a little bit more about it. It's a 2 litre TD4 HSE black automatic four wheel drive. 2016 on a 66 plate. Has done 42,208 miles at this moment in time. One registered owner. Fuel economy, urban, 44.8 miles per gallon. Extra urban, 60.1 miles per gallon. And combined, 53.3 miles per gallon. Nought 60 time of 8.4 seconds. A top speed of 117 miles per hour out of a four cylinder, 178 brake horsepower, 16 valve engine. In my opinion, uh, Henry Ford had it right. Any color you want, as long as it's black. Uh, only other color I think is uh, Ferruccio Lamborghini's Verde Ithaca, but to be fair, this is growing on me. It's it's a really nice colour, especially in the, the sunshine like it is today, uh, especially with the, the black roof and so on and the, the privacy glass. And even this, uh, I'm not usually big on aftermarket accessories, but this kind of fly screen sets the front off as well with a gloss black um, grille here. You've got front parking sensors, the, the Xenon high performance headlamps and, and LED uh, daylight running lights. You've also got high pressure headlamp wash and fog lights here. So we've got the piano black multi-spoke alloy wheels, um, orange calipers, the plastic wheel arch protector there. There's, there's kind of a, a sort of aluminium color panel in the middle of the bonnet here. And then we've got the full glass panoramic roof at the top with electric shade band in the middle, roof bar system, roof bar carrier system, power folding door mirrors, the black uh, imitation vent in the, in the side of the wing there, all set the vehicle off, mud flaps, the Discovery side steps there. So we've got power open, power closed tailgate, works from the key or this little switch here. It's a seven seater as well. I've got all my stuff in the, in the back, so I can't get the, the back two seats up, but uh, I'll try and remember to video them when I get back to the garage. Got a, a roller blind uh, luggage cover, the back of the car, so reversing sensors in the back here. It's also got a detachable uh, tow bar, which must have cost a fortune. That's in here. If I can get it out without breaking it. So that's that. Proper Land Rover one. And uh, here we go. You've got two inertia reel seat belts. You just have to be careful of them when you're pulling this roller blind forward. And then reversing camera in the back there and rear wash wipe. I'm not even going to attempt to get in the back, um, but it's absolutely lovely in here as you'd expect one owner. Beautiful car, great colour combination. Um, we've got here the rear centre armrest, two cup holders, little place to put your, your phone and oddments and so on. Uh, black perforated leather, the rear Isofix child seat anchor points, magazine nets. Um, very, very nice. It's got Meridian speakers as well, so the sound system's fantastic. And also, we've got this full glass panoramic roof here. Airbags in the B pillar, airbags in the C pillar, and uh, airbags in the D pillar there for the for the back two passengers, uh, if if you have them. It's it's a it's a really lovely car. Great colour combination, as I've no doubt mentioned already. Okay, I'll just take you for a ride in it. So we've got keyless entry, keyless go, the Range Rover, Land Rover keys there. Um, I find it just fits nicely there, but rattles a bit. We'll, we'll see how we get on. Um, hang on a second, just get rid of that. And uh, the service history. So service history, two services, 15th to 11th, 2017 at uh, 12,144 miles, Peter Vardy, Land Rover. 1st to 8th, 2018, 20,960 miles, 
Peter Vardy Land Rover. We've no record of any more services, but we'll be servicing it uh, again and we will check up to see if there are any other services. So, there we go, keyless, keyless go, keyless start. We've got air con, heated seats. It's also got three position uh, memory seat. So we'll, we'll just do the memory seat roulette again. Quite a big car. That's position one. That's position two. So uh, plenty of plenty of scope here. Just get. Uh, it has got height and reach adjustable steering wheel. It's not electric. It's manual. And then we've also got. That's. Uh, lumbar support in the back there so meridian speakers as, a, as I say the, the lovely panoramic roof it's got the <laughs> gear selector I like the, the rotary one nice and simple and s even though you've only got a gear stick like yay big it just seems to make the, the cabin that much bigger by not having a <laughs> gear stick intruding on it Let's just go down a bit. Let's try that. Okay, so we're in drive. Oh, height and reach adjustable steering wheel. It is manual that, so that's like so. Everything nice and easy to use on the Land Rovers and Range Rovers. Great suspension. This car park is uh, quite bumpy I just watched the camper van trying to get off and uh, he uh, bottomed it out just coming over there a two litre engine and somehow the two litre engine and this gearbox seem to drive a little bit better than the three litre engine uh, in, the, in the sport uh, in certain conditions, mid-range uh, changing gears, um, why that would be, whether it's the, the weight of the vehicle and the kind of kinetic energy taking you forward as the gears change just at, just at the right time. I'm just getting a feedback through the steering wheel there. It's got lane departure warning and I was going over the white lines there without indicating. So it's giving me a little uh, jolt through the steering wheel stupid accessory a couple here with a dog I saw them walking in the middle of the road before and uh, it's a bank holiday weekend bank holiday Sunday today it's absolutely beautiful I got out early this morning about six o'clock to video this car and there were already lunatics out on the road um, I have to say the majority of the bikers are, are driving um, like they, they want to uh, see tomorrow, but there's a couple just been up here. Oh, wow, were they going too fast? And also, there's a seen a, a good few Porsches, um, Ferrari this morning, 458 coming up here. A beautiful day for a drive, and, and this is a, a lovely road with uh, lovely scenery. Uh, it's also kind of scenery that you can't enjoy too much when you're driving because uh, there's always a couple of sheep trying to catch you out or some other wild animal. So steering is lovely. There's, a, there's an eco switch here. Stop start is awful. Devil's invention. Switch it off wear all sorts of things out and they'll cost you more to replace than the stop start saves you in petrol and the planet's resources um, by the time they've, they've made the bits here we go here's what you always have to be careful for by the the time they've made the bits that you've worn out with the stop start you'll have um, more than uh, made up for the 
greenhouse gases you've saved in fuel. Stupid idea, in my opinion. Suspension just right for the country and these roads. You always see farmers in these rather than uh, Range Rovers. This, uh, this engine very, very economical as well. Though. I think it was the uh, extra urban was 60 miles to the gallon. I mean, I, I'd, I'd take that all day in a car this size. I'd, I'd, in, in all honesty, I'd be happy with 40. And that's probably more like what you, you would get, but the seagulls and the sheep sharing food there. Nice day to, uh, or nice job to have on a day like this. Sheepdog there. I, I see him up and down the road here when I'm filming. Always smiling. So we've got uh, power folding door mirrors. I'll just try them in a second when we get around this tricky bit. There you go, power folding door mirrors. You've got heated front screen, which is uh, an absolute godsend. You've got cruise control on this side. And it's the, the cruise control on Land Rovers, it, again, is so easy. Uh, a lot of other vehicles, you've got to switch it on and then set the speed, but you don't set it with the plus. You set it with the minus, and then you can increase it with the plus or decrease with the minus. Land Rover, Range Rover, Typical British, straight to the point, set, that's it, it's done. It's, sw it's switched on and it's set at the same time. It's uh, certainly not a good day for wildlife in the country today. Lots of uh, corpses everywhere. Not to lower the tone of it. Nice and quiet. Good display. You've got sat nav, uh, Bluetooth hands free, Bluetooth audio streaming. If we just click that, oops, just click that, and then you've got to press again to say you're not going to be distracted. Again, you, you'd, you'd think they'd like incorporate that with the on button, wouldn't you? So you wouldn't have to press it twice. At, But uh, handy on roads like this, so even if you you don't know, want to know where you're going and on a magical mystery tour, at least it shows you where the road bends and what to expect coming up. Any sharp bends. So the Meridian speakers. So the. Um, the sound system is absolutely tremendous. You've got heated seats here, and it, another thing I like to see, you don't have to look. You like It's like Braille, you feel over there, click the switch, one, two, three, and of course it starts off on very, very high, click it a couple of times and it uh, knocks it back to one. If you can stand um, position three, there's, there's something wrong with you. You've got asbestos pants or something. Knock that off. And then the heated screen's just next to it. 
all the stuff you need. This this is it's it's a, a lovely specification car. I really do like the colours. Saying that in the sunlight today it looks absolutely fantastic. And uh, I was considering last night because I picked the car up from the garage last night, so I could set off early today, this morning, and uh, get it before the traffic. The the M6 was chock a block yesterday, three lanes solid all the way, and that's how you get to uh, to this place from our garage. And I actually considered last night um, trying to come up here and get this car in the the sunset with the orange be the orange sunset behind it. And then I thought, nah, I'll watch the Sweeney instead. <laughs> nice setup there. <laughs> Looks like they're doing the washing. <laughs> oh well. The burger van will be having an early start today. Lots of campers out. Why not? So high pressure headlamp wash on the front. Um, we've got front and rear uh, parking sensors. Actually, if there's, uh, if there's nothing coming here and everybody can see me from way away, I'm not gonna surprise anybody by stopping on the road. If I just plonk that into reverse there you go you've got the reversing cameras and uh, the rugby posts which show you where you're going to go and what you're going to hit if you're not careful and how far away from objects you are fancy trying to Range Rover with this engine in because the uh, fuel economy on that is uh, pretty good whether or not that would just be pushing this engine a little bit too far I don't know shift on the steering wheel here you can just move that press that down turn it over and you're in sport there there we go we take off a little bit quicker so I just need to be careful around here that's the paddle shift down and up drive is fine for me in this never need anything more I suppose this uh, with a seven seat, really versatile. Not much of a boot when you've got the seven seats up. You certainly wouldn't have enough luggage space for seven people if you were going away. Um, you'd have to resort to a roof box which it has got the roof bars on the top but it would also having a roof box on would spoil your view out of the top here I did see um, a carrier system that goes on the tow bar and uh, it's like a platform with a with a box on the back so that might be an option. Especially uh, these days, at the moment, everybody seems to be uh, considering taking the holidays in the UK rather than going abroad. I mean, 
he'd said that if there's seven of you, I don't, I don't think you can afford to go. <laughs> so pleasant to drive, and again the. I would say on roads like this, the Discovery is nicer to drive than a, a Range Rover Sport at this speed, uh, under these conditions. And it's so much nicer to drive than Audis and BMWs. I have a soft spot for the Jaguar F-Pace, which is probably um, very similar to this vehicle. open power closed tailgates as well and the proper ooh see on an old bike oh no saw him earlier um power open power closed tailgate Could be a oh no that's ice cream it's okay all set up ready for the bank holiday ice cream stall there and the burger van next to it I've got my uh, camera on the roof I did uh, make an attempt to video the scenery around here with uh, kind of a, a pole which wasn't very successful because it's a bit wobbly but this time it's fastened to the roof and uh, I really want to send my drone up here So absolutely lovely car, low mileage, great colour, great colour scheme with the uh, black leather. And uh, lovely to drive. Yeah, I'll, uh, I'll stuff all the siding on the, this mountain, but don't worry. So I'll, uh, I'll finish the test drive there anyway, or here, and uh, nothing to report, so usual 20 mile, 20 mile, it's 70 mile actually, round trip, test drive, 